Hey y'all, what's going on? About to do my commentary and reaction to Chef Common's interview with Dr. Angel. Uh, I guess that's uh, Victor from Victim. Uh, I think that's the, uh, her page on Facebook. Well, anyway, Chef Common did an interview and she's addressing the Gibsons. I don't know a lot about that, but it's in regards to these people saying that Chef Carmen scammed them, took money, didn't give them all the money from the donations. So this is another accusation, right? Um, don't know if it's true or not. They've been all, they've been over the YouTube pages uh, doing interviews, and uh, apparently uh, Steph, Chef X is involved uh, with this also some kind of way. Chef did address this in the interview. My concerns are uh, when listening is something Chef said. And I am not sure if her, if her attorneys are allowing her to make these statements or if she is aware. I don't know if these statements can be used against her in her upcoming legal battles. That's just my concern. I'm hoping Chef is being is consulting her attorney, but should she even be having these conversations in regards to finances at all when her finances are being questioned the way she manages is being questioned. That is my concern because there is allegations right now of misappropriation of funds, possible tax evasion based on the uh, things that uh, boss lady Karina said in one of her on one of her lives and in a posting. She alluded to. Uh, Chef Common, in so many senses, wasn't paying taxes, may have not paid taxes, uh, was misappropriating funds by the, not only by what the Post said, but by the alleged um, documents uh, we all saw and read through. So my concern is Chef Carmen talking about these donations. And I don't know why she is talking to this particular lady. Also, I believe... Uh, Tay did an interview with this lady. Now, I'm not sure if they're using her as their spokesperson, damage control person, because she's basically pretty biased. I think she came out trying to be in the middle, but then she started to lean more and more to herself. And she and, and that's a call. That's you know, if she needs wants to, that's fine. You know, uh, because you don't know a lot. Right, but here comes some more accusations about misappropriations of fun. Because if you're doing a collection, a donation, the expectation is for the money, all monies, to go to the people that you're collecting it for. Now, Chef Carmen said something. And again, guys, I'm not an attorney at all, not acting like why not one, just using my own perspective, things, and past experiences. And so when Chef Carmen said, and she said this, that Stephanie took $25,000 from her cash app, kept Chef Carmen's cash app, and transferred it to her account. Chef Carmen said she didn't follow it up. She said it happened. And when asked several times, was this money intended for the Gibsons? Chef Carmen said yes. That money was supposed to go to the Gibsons. Um, now... Chef Carmen says she just didn't do anything about it. She just let it go. Uh, but she acknowledged that money was taken up for the Gibson and should have gotten to the Gibson. My concerns are when you collected that money into your cash app and you allowed somebody in a sense, you can't say, you can say they took it, but when you did nothing to correct that, where does that leave Chef Carmen? Where does that leave her? Because if somebody take $25,000 out of my account, we got problems. We got issues and concerns, right? Whether we together, not together, that money was taken out for a particular reason. And now I'm wondering, if that money did not go to the person donated or another fa uh, faction, was that money actually Declare as income. 
uh, or some type of, you know, money that needed to be declared to IRS when it was not given to the benefactors. Um, my, that's what I'm thinking. I'm not like I said. Anybody got any knowledge of that? Because she clearly said twenty five thousand was taken from her account by her ex wife, transferred to her ex wife's account. She did nothing about it. She let it go, and she clearly stated that money was intended for the Gibsons. Now she's saying the Gibsons are liars. The Gibsons got what they're supposed to get. You know, we just don't know, guys. We don't know why the Gibsons are all of a sudden coming out. Uh, but again, what can you expect? Uh, the Dr. Angel said, but why now? Why are these people coming out now? Well, let's look at humans. When do people normally make themselves be heard or seen? When an opportunity avails themselves. People really kind of spin me when they talk about, well, if these things are true, then why didn't the person come out right then and there? Why wasn't it brought to the forefront? People like to hold on to things. We know that. If it don't benefit them now to tell it, oh, but when they get an opportunity to. We know. So we can't act surprised when people come from back in the day and become like witnesses. I can, you know what? Because they probably say, you know what? Nobody's going to believe me. I'm not going to say anything. This person is famous. This person is a Facebook personality. They'll call me a liar. They're not going to believe me. Especially when you're dealing with a big uh, Facebook personality such as what Chef was, right? How many people were going to actually believe uh, these people would have when they, if they initially came out, right? People would have said, oh, they're being greedy. And they're probably saying that right now, too. They're probably thinking they got bad motives, intentions right now. Her, her wife and the Gibson. So they're going to be a fraction of people that are going to say the Gibson and Stephanie have motives. They may be working against Chef with other people. And then there's a fraction of people saying, hey, they just waited for an opportunity, opportune time when there is a possibility that they can be heard because maybe back then nobody would have listened. They would have felt then also that they have motives, right? So either way, so when I listen to Dr. Angel kind of like, I'm like, come on now, you've been in this world a long time. You look about around my age. So we know that. People don't all don't are not always going to come out with information initially. They wait, they let it go, or they wait for opportune times. And this is an opportunity, uh, the best opportunity to if they wanted to get back at her. Yeah, they're going to use this time. Why? Well, there's an open case right now alleging misappropriation of funds and tax evasion by. Her own organization. So now these people are saying uh, Chef took money that didn't belong to her and didn't give them everything. Chef says she, she did. Chef says she's going to prove this. What I think Prep Chef should do is be quiet. Because right now, I don't know if an attorney can use this information. I don't know if an attorney can come back and pull this video where she posted and tie it in with what's going on with her legal battles because they both have a grain of where uh, Chef is being accused of uh, not handling money properly. This is what is happening. They're, they both... You know, you have one party that's going into court saying uh, money was handled in, uh, inappropriately. And now you got people from the outside weighing, weighing in saying, hey, I can I can attest to that character. These can be character witnesses. Nobody saying they're the truth, but they can be used as a person. They tell me about this person. 
Now, will they have to do background check? Will they have to and cash? And, and Chef said all cash apps are traceable. Yes, but one issue is that twenty five thousand dollars that you allowed to be removed from that cash app and did nothing about. I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem or not. It may be nothing because if she's saying that her attorney is allowing her to speak, there may be these were questions that Angel has, Dr. Angel have that was pre, um, you know, pre-screened. And the same um, interview she did with Tay, again, concerns are, could Tay be a possible witness? Um. And this is where I kind of kind of look at Chef Common and kind of fault her a little bit. Because at some point in time, you got to use some restraint and some common sense and take this stuff off Facebook. You're not going to get 100% validation from people. You're not. The people that are riding with you are going to ride with you. And the people that find some fault with you are going to find fault. And if they're blaming Tay, some are blaming Tay, some are blaming you for your own behavior, but you're going around trying to convince people that they shouldn't have any feelings about Tay. I understand that is your partner, but you cannot change people's feelings <laughs> because based on their perspective. And I think you kind of beating your lips and gums uh, to a losing battle. And having this Dr. Angel come and do these questioning, I don't know if it's going to help or hurt you. Uh, pretty much. Uh, so I would say, in my opinion, stop trying to convince people and live your life. Stop trying to get up here and look for validation and approval of your relationship and live your life. Because you're never going to get that here on a social media platform. You're open to a thousand, you have over 40,000, 300, 400,000 people. And I don't know, I understand why people believe 300,000 people that are watching them are actual supporters. These are people that are actual, some are that are actual supporters, got your back all the way to the end. But there's some also that is watching because it's entertainment. And they have nothing to lose about giving their perspective on how they feel, whether they agree with you or not. So I think the campaign that you're running is probably going to do more damage and it's hurting you in the same way too because you're going to get reaction channels. You're going to look in the shade room. You're going to look and see what people are saying about you. And in the same token, you have to take some responsibility and say, okay, this is what it is. I've lived, in my, I've lived my life on social media. I've always had positive followings. Some things have changed. Now my followings are not all positive. I'm getting some negative feedback. You can you got to expect that. You have to expect that on social media. They love you today, hate you tomorrow. And if you think anything less, then that's I I don't know if to count that to stupidity or not, uh, just being naive. And I don't think you're naive. I think you're just trying to prove something uh, to everybody, and you don't have to. You don't have to prove or get everybody to approve Tay for whatever reason. Well, what Tay do? What Tay do? That doesn't matter what, what Tay. You shouldn't even be concerned about that in the long run. Live your life. Take this stuff off social media. Stop talking to that lady. I don't know because it's some of the things, some of the things that she have asked, in my opinion, and some of the ways she has led, some of the questions. I don't know if it's going to help you or hurt you in the long run. And she's acting more of a damage control person, uh, personal, uh, what do you call those people that go out in front and try to do damage control? You know, like, uh, uh, I swear I want to use, guys. Um, I can't think of it right now. But it's almost like somebody just... Um, going up front and handling celebrities and trying to squell down the noise and try to spin people emotions. And that's what it looks like she's trying to do. Chef, you don't need that. You just need to be quiet, build, continue doing what you're doing, live your life with your girlfriend, with your, with your fiance, as you would say, and stop trying to look for that validation. Cause most of the time you're dealing with a lot of judgment on Facebook. 
in YouTube and you're not going to get what you're looking for. This is why I believe you're going through what you're going through. Why the depression? Because you're looking for something that is not there and you're not going to get it from here. You may have had it. It changed. And until you realize that, that you got to take some responsibility and where this is going because of you continuing trying to address it and let the court handle it. Because a lot of things you may be saying, Chef, can work against you, in my opinion. And hopefully you are following whatever, but I wouldn't do any more interviews because that last one could be concerning. I'm not sure, but it could be. Mm. Again, why I say that? Because if you took money and didn't follow up on where you should have went, you should have done your due diligence, in my opinion, to secure that money back and make sure it got to the proper authority, to the proper people. You didn't. That's not a good choice, in my opinion. So they can use that once again to sort you and how you handle funds and donations or whatever else. If you just that dismissive of $25,000, what else are you dismissive of? So that's just my opinion, guys. Uh, this is, as you can see, it was a response to what Chef said in her video. has nothing to do with Chef personally, but a response to the things that she's saying. I'm also encouraging her in the most positive way possible. Don't do interviews like that again. You don't know where the stuff can end up and how it can be used against you. People have the best intentions in the world, but sometimes the best intentions lead the road to just, you know what I'm saying, can pave a road to some ways you don't want to go. So this is Justice React, guys. Give me some feedback, comebacks. I uh, understand just talking from what I'm hearing and what was said. I didn't make this up. So, uh Let's say some, give me some feedback, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the other side. This is Justice React, and I'm out.